big-time baseball now from Progressive Field here in the Buckeye State of Ohio. It's the final game of this regular season custom league series between the Chicago Cubs and the Cleveland Indians. Major League Baseball on the show is next. So here is A.J. Pollock. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The left fielder, number 11. AJ infield in the overshift here now the pitch and we are underway now from Cleveland as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one one ball and one strike to the Cubs leadoff batter and we'll see some 40s before things are said and done tonight right now 51 degrees at first pitch fouled away. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Tucker waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now at the plate here is Tim LaCastro. The second baseman. Tim LaCastro. First pitch on the way. Now started to go down after it and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Fastball called for strike two. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Two balls and two strikes now. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Base is empty, two away, and standing in the ever dangerous Mike Trout. And now the first pitch. Just underway here in Cleveland. A two ball, no strike count to the Cubs center fielder. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Two and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. It is laid off, and the count runs full. And before the big 3-2 pitch, time is called at home plate. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he... So that'll bring up Josh Bell. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Indians, the first baseman. Pitch on the way. Bell. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Right side, but it's well foul. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Stepping up is Brandon Crawford. Not shortstop. Brandon. Here's the first pitch to him. Crawford. Lifted the other way to left center. On the move is Trout. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he'll reach second now with one away. Batting third. The third baseman. Okay. In now, Jose Ramirez. Ramirez. In the dirt here, and no advance. It's ball one. Ready with the 1 0. And that one misses upstairs, 2 0. A swing by Ramirez, and this one soaring to right field. Now, Kyle Tucker. 
The right field. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. In now is Anthony Rendon. Anthony Rendon. Batting fifth. Here's Michael Brantley as he lines it out to center. Brantley. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. Batting seven. So well, now to the plate. Chris Taylor. Taylor. Timing Taylor. just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Another first inning RBI opportunity for him here. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. I know he's been struggling early, but that pitch right there, well executed changeup. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. So now to the plate, Josh Rojas. Game. And Don't the drive with an opportunity for still more damage here in the first. Rojas. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. The 1-0. Nope. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 count. Not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Trout is there now as he makes the catch, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here. All set for the start of the inning, and here comes the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Oh, this is what you get fired up for right here. Hard fastball against a power hitter. I know he was late right there, but if he comes back, this one might not come back. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. So one down, no one aboard. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. Evan Longoria is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Tries to hold up, but did he do so in time? No, says Dave Lawrence. It's strike one. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. And he got another one here. He struck. Bottom of the inning now. And that'll bring in the veteran Lead catcher, off. Roberto Orbit Perez. Indians. The catcher. Roberto. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Perez. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. Still two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Here comes the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So it's back to the top of the order now. And digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. 
First offering on its way. On the ground to the right side. Fielded cleanly. On to first, and there were two down. So the next to bat will be Brandon Crawford. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Fraley is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. And now here is Wilson Contreras as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Wilson. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder is on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. So now into the box is Jacob Stallings. First pitch on its way. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Had nibbled the corner there but missed two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Next, it'll be Jake Fraley. First pitch coming, here it is. Not even close on that swing, no balls and a strike. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. And that's the first hit in this one for the Cubbies. At the plate now, A.J. Pollock, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He flied out, leading off the ball game. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. A hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Three and one to the Cubs left fielder. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. From the stretch. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Here it comes. One and oh. One and one. I never found myself on the mound in the big leagues, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good hard fastball when you're in a jam. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. They get the force at the plate. Relay to first is too late, so no double play, but no run scores. And that will bring Mike Trout to the dish. Trying here to plate the tying run from second. No balls and a strike to count. The 0-1. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. Fraley on third, Pollock at second, LeCastro at first, two out in the inning. A ball and two strikes now. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three. Bottom of the third now, and set to go is the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. That last A.B. when he hit the base. home run, that was a oh, decent changeup. It was down Rob in the zone, Ramirez. but one of the problems when you have a good changeup like this pitcher does, hitters go up there and they kind of look for that changeup. So he's going to have to locate it a little bit better in this upcoming at bat. But right there to glove it is the shortstop for the first out. Digging in the next, Kyle Tucker. 30. He collected a base Kyle. hit his first time up. Now the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Trout is there. Two gone. Two down, no one on base. And the next hitter will be the right-handed bat of Anthony Rendon. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Hit on the ground is short. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves it. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the big bat of Paul Goldschmidt. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. 
Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Good power curveball there, and he's in control 0 and 2. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. Carlos Correa comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 and 0. Swing and a miss, 1 and 1. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. One ball and two strikes to count. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And he fouls this one off. No runs, just one hit. No errors so far for the Cubbies. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. The third base. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Evan Longoria stands in as he looks at ball one here. That's by him for strike one. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Swung on and missed. One and two now. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here. In the Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Michael Brantley. The designated hitter. Now here's the first offering. Brantley. Brantley tends to have more success against right-handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing. Maybe he just picks up the ball a little better. But that's the book on him at this point. Tight break with the slider there. Catches the inside for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. And this is lined into left field, and the leadoff man will reach. It's a base hit. That's At the play, field. Chris Taylor. Now he turns and Chris. smokes this one into deep Taylor. center field. And he will make the catch while ranging backward as he just put the glove up and hauled it in for the first out. Striding in is Josh Rojas. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's set and the pitch. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1 and 0. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. 3 and 0 now. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Brentley, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Standing in now, Roberto Perez. He's got it. The throw pulls him off the bag. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Josh Bell, he started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First pitch on its way as he rips it on the ground to second. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. One run is scored, and the second run will score as well. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Not shortstop. Brandon. There's one. Crawford. On to first. Man alive. What a double play. And the inning is over. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And stepping up to hit next, the catcher, Wilson Contreras. Wilson. First offering. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. This one for Crawford is short. Scooped up, and the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now to bat, Jacob Stallings worked a walk in his first plate appearance. 
ball. Here's the pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitches second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. The right field. So stepping in yeah. is Jake Fraley, singled in his last at bat. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Two balls and no strikes. Two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. Call the strike there, two and one. Two and two. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Taylor. But it's the right fielder that gets there to make the catch. And the inning is over. And now in the box, Jose Ramirez. Leading comes in one for Indians. two with that home run the he hit earlier. Baseman. Outfield okay. shaded toward right center. Rob Here's the first Pirat. pitch. When you dive into the numbers in this start, it's hard to believe that this guy's pitching as poorly as he has. Over 70% of his first pitches have been for strikes, but a lot of those have been right down the middle, right into the hitting zone. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. The right fielder, number 30. Into the Kyle. box now, Kyle Tucker. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. This one skied out toward right. Fraley is there, and he'll bring this one in. Next to dig in, Anthony Rendon. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Two balls and no strikes to Anthony Rendon. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. High in the air out to center field. On the move is Trout. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael okay. Brentley. He reached on a single the last time and later wound up scoring. Brentley. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And Brantley will reach. He's got a base hit. Into the box, Chris Taylor. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Oh, for two for him to this point. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Back goes Trout, still going back. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Pierce Johnson gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. A ball and a strike. Hey, guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour. On a night like tonight where it's super cold out, if you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. The catcher, cover and now Roberto Perez. Yes, he'll Roberto. go after the first pitch to him and comes Perez. up empty at strike one. No hits to this point. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the... Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring up A.J. Pollock. The left field, the left. Now the first pitch. As he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. 
That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. And the sixth inning opens with a flyout, one away. And oh, now, oh. Tim LoCastro. He the reached on base. a fielder's choice Tim previously. LoCastro. Pitch on the way. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. Trouble waiting next as you see Mike Trout in the on deck circle. The 3 1. Bases are empty, one man. And now in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Two away now for the Cubs in the sixth. And that brings up Mike Trout. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at 2 to 3. And Digging in will be Roberto Perez. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Now the 1-0 is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. The count now at 2-1. and one. Pitch on the way. Fraley has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Now yeah, in the man. box, First Josh base. Bell has got a hit Josh. in three at bats to this point. Yeah. First pitch of the AB now. The 1 0. Well, that's another great hitting count here on 2 0. It's no wonder why they're up seven. Outside, 3 0 now. Seven runs on 12 hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. He loses him on ball four. Brandon Crawford digging in next. He's working on a one for three thus far. Brandon Crawford. Hector Harris gets the call to pitch here. He'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Here's the first pitch. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. For most people, being down on one would seem like a lot, but this guy is such a good hitter. He doesn't care going deep in the count. He's got runners on base. He has a game plan every time he comes to the plate. Let's see how this one plays out. Trout has a read on it. Two down. 
now at the plate. Jose Ramirez. Now He's two for three Third and base. looking for more here. Oh, Here's oh, pitch on its way. Bell leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Up top, it's 2-0. 2-0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. And he is out on the tag. Seventh inning ready to roll. And stepping in, the power hitting first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Jimmy Garcia is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 93, Jimmy Garcia. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Here's the one and one delivery. Two balls, one strike. Two one pitches, a fastball two, two. swung on and missed two and two. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. He struck him out the oh, third time he's up. fanned in the game. The shortstop, Carlos Correa. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Carlos Correa stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. Nope. Missed low and inside with it. 1 and 1. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Rojas comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. In is the third baseman Evan Longoria. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Now here's the first offering. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. Now to the plate, Kyle Tucker. He flew out in his last AB. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Behind 0-2 now. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. One out now for the Indians in their seventh. And that'll bring up Anthony Rendon. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he starts him out with a splitter for a called strike. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Now that Stepping that's in that's once again is Michael, Michael Brantley. He's working on Brantley. a three-hit ball game right now. Taken in by Goldschmidt, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Ready to begin the eighth, and digging in is the big-time power threat, Wilson Contreras. First pitch on its way. And a good slider here to start the at-bat, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. and A ball and a strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. The two two one more time he is swung on and missed. He got him. Next up, Jacob Stallings. He went oh, down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. Fouled away. Bouncer to the left side. Ramirez is there. Throw gets him. Two down. 
into the box. Jake right Fraley table. flew out last Jake. time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. Now the 1 0. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep, too. Three and one the count now. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Rounded up the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Hit weakly back to the mound. Go on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Chris Taylor. In the last at bat, Manny B, that was a changeup he hit to straightaway center field. This guy looks to hit the ball right through the middle of the diamond. And if you elevate the ball like he did on that last one and get that ball up in the zone, he could take you out of the ballpark. A bouncer up the middle, fielded cleanly, and the throw to first is in time, one gun. Next to stand in is Josh Rojas. So far, two for three in this one. Correa moving to his left. Two down. Next to hit, Roberto Perez. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First pitch on its way. And it's fouled away. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it. And he makes the play to end the inning. the top of the lineup stepping in AJ Pollock it was a fly out for him in his last trip Brian Shaw comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth number 27 Ryan Shaw the pitch ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Outside and a full count, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three-two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Second base. Ready Tim. with the first pitch. Here it Le comes. Castro. Tim LeCastro is at the plate as he watches ball one. Now that's popped up. And there's out number two. So next to hit is Mike Trout, and he's over in this one, batting out of the three spot. Good pitch there as he gets him to swing underneath it for strike one. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his batting gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one. Because if it comes, he struck him out, and that'll do it for the Cubs here tonight. Man, they're making it look awful easy out there. That's nine wins in a row. That's right, nine wins in a row. And by the way they're playing, I see no reason why this streak is going to end anytime soon. They're just playing great baseball. A 7 0 shutout final score tonight. Cleveland jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Jacob DeGrom is the winning pitcher of record. Alec Mills allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.